play in here. So, roll a, roll an eight. All right, no, he rolled an eight, so I rolled double one. So I end up getting to go first, right? So this, this is, so I actually make a horrible misplay here because I didn't read Rock of the Vanquisher. So Rock says deer in the main phase, right? And if I, I drew, I, you'll see. So he special summons out Fenrir. Fenrir's uh, insane card. This card is literally, I think that this card has got to go. Fenrir's just too good. He goes stake your heart, so he gets the Raisin. And then Raisin's gonna grab, I think, the... Mad, Mad Lover Borger, that's Borger. Borger's pretty good. And then he's gonna go Smarwell, revealing the Dogaren. To pick up, I think, does he go for Ash? I think he tries to grab Ash. Don't, don't quote me on it. I was in the moment, but I was lost in the sauce. So he's just thinking about his lines here. In my hand, I have Imperm, so like I know I'm gonna fight. So it's difficult on what I should have done. I should have probably held the Imperm, but I get I get super lucky. So he, to get the Kurikara. So no, he reveals Kurikara to grab. He has to be going for Ash, doesn't he? That has to be what he goes for. Yeah, so he grabs Ash. So now I know he has Ash. But I think I opened Call by the I opened Call by the Grave too. So like. You'll, you'll see. You'll, you'll see the mess up here. I just let him, I let it go ahead and go into like pass the standby. So in perm, the Rock of the Vanquisher. Which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, so now I get to go and I draw and I draw into another in perm. And I go standby, main phase. Now then you'll see, check it out. Right there, I'm looking at cards. And right there we go. I read I read the rock and I was like, son of a bitch. I should have just impermed it during my draw or standby phase. So I attempt imperm it and he can chain it now, but I have to call by the grave the raisin. Which I could have like didn't I could have saved it here. So I go connector. Uh, he can ash here or he can lose the ash. So he's forced to ash, but see I'm lucky because I opened Flint Lady. Now say if I didn't open extender, I my I would have lost here. My hand was perfect to play around the ash. That's what's insane was, so he decides to bounce back the connector. Or banish the uh, Fenrir, use the Fenrir to banish, excuse me. Stupid ads. Of course there's an ad. There we go. So he bounces back the connector and I have Renaud, so I just, he's punished her back, bouncing back the wrong card. So I get the special summon Renaud, go into his old. Is This is just gonna get the full combo. I'm gonna send four and just go off to the races here to go Ogier, Ogier to send Turpin. Banish two to grab the uh, Phoenix Blade. Phoenix Blade equipped, overlay, and make the Artorgus. Artorgus picks up the two in Grave. And see, like, if you had any Speller Traps right now, we could pop them too, but we didn't. Direndal grab Ricardetto. Link into Raten. Effect of uh, the Joyous, and like, this is, just, this is just a standard full combo, right? But we get to like, really punish. Like, so, that's what I was saying. Like, my hand was built to, to completely stop Ash, and to stop, like, my hand was just so good. Banish two dead back the Phoenix Blade. Go ahead and activate Phoenix Blade. Chain the Angelica to go ahead and dump Gear Free. Banish Angelica, go roll. You know, the, the same old stuff. The same old Fire, Fire Warrior shenanigans. Uh, Roland. Uh, we go ahead and equip the Turpin using its effect. Use the field spell to special. We go ahead and make Chuck. Charlemagne. We equip the Almus. I don't know why I used Roland there. Or used Roland. I should have just linked it off. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and special summon, summon out the Gear Freed. And this is going to be pre this is pretty rough. So we go Battle Phase. Effect of Retend to go ahead and pop the Femur. 22, 3,000, 3,000. That's a total of 8,000. So we just move on into the next game. So we move on into game number two. And he gets to go first. Normal and Raisin. This is actually gonna be a cool play. I, I didn't, I, I don't pay that much attention to Vanquish Soul, so like, we're gonna see, see him do it, which is pretty cool. I, I love the Caesar Val Valenius, or whatever it is. I think that card is so sweet. But again, I think he special summons. Out the bad love? Yeah, using the rock to grab the Book of Moon. 
The internet at Locals was kind of wacky, so we ended up especially drawing for Mad Love. And, um, yeah. He has Shifter, so this is what's cool, right? So I draw for turn, I stand by, we go into the main phase, he uses his main phase to add back, and then no graveyard, change Shifter. Damn. I wish I had that call by the grave now. Well, we're gonna try and play through it. We're gonna try it. I really don't think there's anything we can do through Shifter, but you know, I mean, there people have talked about just going Baguska Pass. So I mean, like, technically speaking. He's gonna burn me, and I think he's gonna use Valius. Yep, bounce back there. Reveal three, I believe. Yep, reveal three and destroy non-targeting destruction. But it gets banished. I'm gonna banish Ricardetto to special from the hand. Uh, Ogier, no effect of Ogier, but he's gonna go ahead and Dust Devil and flip it face down. And sadly, I do not have any way to continue off past this, so. I just kind of hope that, you know, Ogier's big butt will kind of hold him at bay for at least one more turn. But, like, let's be honest, like, he's pretty, he's sitting pretty good. He has so many cards in hand. He has just the ability to just kind of go crazy. Normal summon the Raisin to go ahead and grab another Valanius or a Caesar. That's, oh, goodness. Then he's going to do, let's see here. Gotta love dogs, guys. Gotta love dogs. They talk a lot of smack. Don't you think about it. I see he's gonna turn for the Caesar to attack. I think he reveals three, destroy, and then just goes in the battle phase. So that is it for... Oh, no, not yet. So he's gonna burn for 15 and then go into battle phase. And then we have... So we just wrap it up and go into the all-important game number three, which right here. So we go, we can normal summon connector. Connector is going to give us the dolphin. Uh, we're going to get to look at his hand, right? So this is, this is a pretty cool play. Uh, this is exactly why connector is so important, guys. Like, I, I can't believe people even consider not playing this card. So I look at his hand, double droll, and then I know he has the Kish Kishira, the, the, the Karihara. So I hit the one droll knowing that I'll eat another, right? So now I have to make sure I have to play my best under droll because I want to get that Karikira out of his hand, because that's going to just tribute something. That's going to get rid of something completely. So we end up going for Izzold, use Izzold's effect. But see, here's what's, here's what I just read is I open uh, tactics. So I know he's going to fire off the droll, right? So as soon as he fire droll, look at his hand, shuffle it back. So I'm going to loop him for three cards, technically. And that's just the power, guys, of Connector. But we're going to do the combo, right? Centurpin. I believe we do the standard uh, line. So I equipped the Joyous. Use Joyce Effect to add back the Renaud. Special out the Renaud to add back from Grave. Still playing underneath the Droll very well. Uh, go ahead and make Angelica here. And I use Angelica. Do I use Angelica's effect? I don't. So I open the Field Spell. Go Field Spell. Use the effect of Field Spell to add. And this is where I'm going to get hit with the Droll. There it is. I grab Durandal, which is okay. Durandal has a cool graveyard effect. If you guys don't know, it can reborn something. So I'm going to go ahead and fire off Angelica. Send the Gear Freed. Banish, summon out Roland. I then... What do I do? Oh, I already have Almus. I end up linking here into Charles. Almus to go ahead and add back the Gear Freed. And then we'll go ahead and equip Roland. Link down into uh, Charles the Emperor. Charles the Great. I think I summon out... Yep, there comes Gear Freed by banishing the Almus. And then I believe I go Talents. Yep, Talents, and I just shuffle back the Kirikara. So, there we go. So, right there, guys, we played underneath the Droll, and we practically hand-ripped him for three cards. So, any of you guys out there who are not playing Dolphin or a Connector, this is exactly why you should, because if I wasn't, my board was going to lose to Droll, I'd play incorrectly, and I was going to get uh, taken out for. And I'm actually able to make a second Charles, which is kind of crazy, I didn't even realize that. That is insane. Two Charleses, one Gear Freed, and Angelica. Let's go. Uh, so there's not really much he can do. 
sadly, uh, there just isn't a lot that my man can do. He drew talents, which is not going to resolve. Uh, but I believe he normal summons the raisin. Use raisin's effect to search. I just allow it because I'm gonna just gonna let up make him do it. Go ahead. I believe my dog is like recording sensitive because as soon as I start to stream or record, she sleeps 80% of the day, but then as soon as I sit down to do anything, her eyes open up and she's like, I must bark. Uh, he's gonna attempt to destroy the raisin or use raisin's effect to blow up all the cards in the column, which would pretty much nuke me, but I'm gonna go ahead and use gear free to sending Charles. He's gonna go ahead and fire off the tactics and we know that tactics ain't gonna resolve. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the Charles negate. And then he gives it to me. So that's round one. 